Okay, so here is this scrap piece that's pretty rough, you can see, and obviously needs to be trimmed, but it's plenty long enough, and I like that. This is my 10 inch mark. This is the minimum that I need it to be. So this allows me to decide, you know, how much of the top and the bottom I'll actually use. Uh, so I'm just gonna now cut it, trim it, so that it's ready to be in my mini. And I have no idea where it's gonna go yet in the mini. So, you know, I don't know directionally if I wanna be having this be the narrow part and this be the wide. I, I just personally don't think that far ahead and I don't think it out that much. So uh, I think I had intended for this to be a narrow piece actually, uh, like that. Uh, so maybe I'll do that. And then, I don't know, maybe I make another set of these and I can use, I can use this whole thing in another piece. So, but for now I'm gonna use this very narrow piece. Uh, okay, so back to where we were, which was deciding uh, how we wanna see these pieced. Um, and I don't really know, I'm just kind of doing this in real time with you guys. So, oops. So the one thing you wanna know is that you're gonna alternate the wide and the uh, narrow. So since this one isn't really, um, uh, what, is, what am I trying to say? This one is not angled, it doesn't really count. So this is a wide piece here. This one doesn't really count because it's pretty much straight up and down. This one is gonna go narrow, okay? This one is gonna go wide. I think I might want to see this one over here. Uh, since this one is straight, then this one's going to go this way. And where is this one going to go? This needs to go in here somewhere. You know, I think I'll do, actually, I think I'll do that. This one can go here in the center. I like the way that one looks. Um, which means wide, narrow, wide, and how about narrow? Okay, I think, let me just look at those for a second together, and I think that's kind of cool, actually. Maybe some of you are at home going, no, move this one, move that one, that one doesn't work there. <laughs> so, but that's the thing with this type of sewing is it's very personal, it's very individual, it gets to be yours. It's completely unique. Every piece is going to be uh, very, very unique and very much yours. I just noticed that I had this piece. <laughs> So I could also put that in there, but I think we're going to get uh, a bit bigger than we need if we do that. So, because I definitely have enough now. Once I get my quarter inch seam allowance in there for each piece, it's going to obviously shrink. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to sew all these together and then I'll check back.